Hey everybody, it's Zach. Welcome back to the Heroverse. And guys, I'm super excited. We just got a new trailer for Marvel Studios Echo. Uh, literally, it's Saturday at 1035. I just got done cookie baking with my family. I was not expecting a trailer for Echo. This is a huge shock to me. My sister called me saying that we got a new trailer for Echo and we get a better look at Daredevil. Super excited for this series. I can't believe it's TVMA. Um, you know, it's funny because I went to Galaxy Con, I want to say it was a couple of weeks ago in Columbus, and I got to meet Vin I got to meet Charlie Cox. I got to take a picture with him, but I also, you know, Vincent D'Onofrio and Charlie Cox had a panel, and somebody mentioned, like, hey, like, uh, you know, asked a asked a question, one of the fans asked a question saying, Hey, like, you know, other a lot of the fans are worried that, you know, it, it, the the new Daredevil series on Disney Plus isn't gonna be as dark. Like, what, like, what's your take on that? Are you guys worried about it? And then Vincent D'Onofrio said that, you know, my only answer would be, did you guys see the Echo trailer? Meaning that I've even said this, that the Echo trailer was their way of saying that Daredevil Born Again is going to be TVMA. I, I've been saying that. It's, it's going to be mature. And they pretty much, you know, you know, Vincent D'Onofrio had the same idea that I had. Well, that was their kind of answer to the fans saying, yeah, they are starting to get into that TVMA you know, part of Disney Plus are using the content via Hulu because Disney Plus is, you know, partnered up with Hulu. So that's what I've been saying is that I've just been super excited for the show because this is their response to a lot of the MCU fans that didn't think Daredevil Born Again was going to be TVMA because this was their response. So already off the bat, I love the first teaser trailer that we got, but without further ado, we're going to be getting into the second trailer uh, from Marvel Studios Echo, and I'm excited to see that, that really good look at Daredevil. Um, but without further ado, let's get to it in three, two, one. This is the Twitter version as well. My sister said that this is the better version. Uh, so let's just get into it and we'll talk about it right after. Exclusively on Hulu and Disney Plus. Kingpin, thanks you for your loyalty. Viewer discretion is advised. On January 9th. Let's go. All five episodes. Ooh. One killer drop. I wouldn't have it any other way. Don't miss Marvel's most intense series yet. Oh shit! Yeah. Enough games. If you want a war, you'll have it. Marvel Studios Echo. All episodes stream January 9th at 6 p.m. PT. <laughs> Set your Disney Plus profile to TVMA to stream. Wow, that looked absolutely amazing. Oh my god, we definitely gotta watch that again. Um holy shit. Okay, yeah, we're gonna watch this again and then we're gonna we're gonna break it down. Um we're gonna go back to that Daredevil shot. Oh my god. Exclusively on Hulu and Disney Plus. Kingpin, thanks you for your loyalty. Your discretion is advised. On January 9th. I'm so I'm so excited for this. Oh, the fight choreography looks on All point. Five episodes. One killer drop. I wouldn't have it any other way. Oh man, this looks great. Don't miss Marvel's most intense series yet. Maya, enough games. Ooh, dude, I'm so ready if for you this. Want a war. Look at this. You'll have it. This is insane. Marvel Studios oh, Echo. Man. All episodes streaming January 9th at oh, 6 p.m. So PT. Set your Disney Plus profile to TVMA to stream. 6 p.m. PT. I'm not quite sure. Let me know for Eastern time what time that is. Um Wow, man, I'm super excited. Like I said, guys, we're going to be covering this um, on the main channel. Um, my idea is, is what I'd like to do is do a long live stream for each episode um, of, of yeah, for, I might, you know what I might do? I might just watch it while I'm doing my reactions for Patreon. I might do that. Or what I might do is want, like, talk about, talk, like, talk predictions about an episode Maybe before, or how I might just have to do a long live stream. I feel like that's the only way to do this, where we're just watching all the episodes together. 
um, while I'm recording my reactions for Patreon. I think I'm going to have to do that. So we're probably going to bring live watch parties back for uh, Echo. I think that's what we're going to do. Um, that's going to be a, like, we have like, that's like what, five episodes and that's, it's going to be like probably at least two hours long the stream, at least probably, um, between me, you know, having to, you know, start my recording, you know, do my re reaction for Patreon, stop my recording, talk about the episodes with you guys, move to the next episode, do the same thing over again. That's probably what we're going to do. But if you guys want to see my reactions though because i might i might do that i might do live party reactions for this um like i said it, go subscribe to my patreon to so that way you guys get to see the full footage of me sharing my screen when marvel studios echo comes out because i'm going to be sharing my screen over on patreon it's only five bucks a month you get access to my movie reactions tv series reactions and th there's only more there's only more coming down the pipeline um to pay to my patreon uh Literally next week, we have Marvel's Studios What If Season 2, which premieres, if I'm correct, on Friday of next week. And then also on Wednesday of next week, on the 20th, we have the two-episode premiere of Percy Jackson and the Olympians. I'm going to be covering that over on the Patreon as well. So if you're interested in any of this stuff, like I said, go subscribe to my Patreon. If you guys are just excited as I am for Marvel Studios Echo, like I said, subscribe to the channel, put on those notifications, and like this video so you don't miss out on any future content revolving echo and then also you know eventually we're going to be covering daredevil born again over on this channel as well so it's going to be insane you guys are not going to want to miss this i actually want to go back here and go to that one shot with daredevil right here i think it was like i think i passed it it was like right here yeah whoa he's in his classic suit let's go bro he's in his classic red and black suit oh my god they did it i can't believe they did it i was not expecting because we heard rumors that they were going to bring this suit back. And I'm just wondering where this takes place. Because we know. And I've been saying this. Is we know. Dare, and like in present day. Matt. You know. Dared, Matt has his. You know. As a yellow and red suit. So I'm wondering. Is this a flashback? Like does Echo. Does She-Hulk take place before Echo? I don't know. I don't know where that. Where it takes place in the timeline. Where the Echo's. The Echo series takes place. I'm assuming. This takes place right after Hawkeye, so maybe Matt's doing this before the events of She-Hulk. I'm not quite sure. Who knows, but I'm just, like, let me know if you guys even know. Do you guys know when this takes place, why Matt would have his black and red suit? Let me know. This just looks amazing. I really never thought we were going to see the suit again, and the fact that we're seeing it again, this just screams Netflix Daredevil. I think this was brilliant. Um, I feel like this really puts the, 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 the bow on top, you know what I mean? That the fact that we get Matt in his r red and black Daredevil costume, I feel like this really fits that, like, he fully does a, like a full circle, you know, kind of, you know, connection of making it feel like Netflix Daredevil, I, especially with the red and black suit. So I'm all here for it. I'm excited. Um, I want to know if you guys know why he has his red and black suit. Do you guys think this takes place, place before She-Hulk? After She-Hulk, maybe he has two suits. I don't know. Maybe, maybe we'll get, if this does take place before She-Hulk, maybe we'll have an, an understanding of why maybe he changed it to the yellow and red. I, I'm actually really curious to know, like, what do you guys think? It would be awesome if he had two different suits, but I don't think he, he, he would. So let me know what your theories are down in the comments below. But wow, what a freaking trailer. Um, but like always, guys, that was the video. Hope everybody has a great day, a safe day, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.